for the next step on activity 1.2.5, we're going to start with number three. You're going to open up your circuit, the last problem. And it says we're going to repeat steps in one, steps one and two for each set of component values. So on the table, you can see it says RA, RB, and C2. So it should be RA, RB, and then C2 should be on the bottom. If it says C1, switch the name to C2. If you're not changing this capacitor on the right, we're going to change the value of the capacitor on the left. So on the table, the first one says RA equals 100 ohms. I'm going to click on RA. I'm going to change it to 100. RB is going to stay at 330. NC2 is going to start stay at 22 microfarads. I'm going to press Run Simulation. And then switch to grapher mode. If you need to, while it's playing, you can adjust time divisions. So if the, the waves are too big, you can change it to, I find, 5 milliseconds per division or 2 milliseconds per division to be good. And then you're going to press Stop. Actually, I'm going to change it to 5. stop. Under cursors, cursors you're going to select x-axis, and then you're going to use C1 and C2 to find the period. So for the period, I'm going to start at one rising edge, line up C1, and then C2 is going to line up with the next rising edge. The rising edge is when it's going from 0 to 5. Falling edge is when it goes from 5 to 0. We're going to look down here. It says delta x is 11.627 milliseconds. So I'm going to put that in my table. For the first row where it says period, I'm going to put 11.627 milliseconds. And then 1 over delta x, the frequency, is 86.009 hertz. I'm going to put that in the table for frequency. Then the next cell asks for time high. So I'm going to move the cursor 2 over. So I'm just measuring the top part of the wave. My time high is 6.3865. I'm going to put that in time high. And then I'm going to move the cursors and measure time low. So I'm going to go for the part where it's at zero. Looks like my time low is about 5.2402 milliseconds. I'm going to put that on a table. And then you're going to use that to calculate duty cycle. So again, duty cycle is time high divided by the period times 100%. For the next row, we have already calculated those. So you can copy those answers from question two. And then let's look at the third row. So all you're going to do is every time you're going to go back to the schematic and I'm looking at the third row on the table, question three, it says RA is 560. I'm going to click on RA and I'm going to change it to 560. RB is 330 and then C is 22. You're going to press run simulation. Go to the grapher and continue the process. So you're gonna press stop. You're gonna measure the period, frequency on the bottom, time high, time low, and duty cycle. Continue that until you have all the table filled out. And then make sure you answer question four. And that is it for the assignment.